No doors here that I can see. I wonder where it'll be. You don't think Cannon kidnapped Katomi the way he kidnapped Moe, do you? If he had, I think we would have heard at least one eyewitness account by now. Well, if nothing else, at least we did learn some new information. You mean about his white silk hat? And that he carries a cane. Last time I asked people about him, someone mentioned that he was really short. But in our questioning, people said that he was tall. And when you meet him, he'll guide you to a world of delusions sweeter than your wildest dreams. Or something like that. But none of us have even seen him yet. Despite reports of him wearing the outfit equivalent of a signal flare. Which can only mean he must have made his way into a delusionscape somewhere. So we should leave the hunting to old boss and his compatriots. See, I can finish y'all's thoughts too. You. Yeah, me. <laughs> you kids just don't know when to say when, do ya? I told y'all before to stay out of our way. But I don't think we ever agreed. Thanks for the advice, though. It ain't advice. It's a warning. Now listen and listen well. Smashing the delusions in Akiba and capturing Pinky both fall under our purview. You say our, but by the looks of it, you're all alone today. Unlike you, we ain't got the luxury of time. We've been splitting up to cover more ground to find us the Deluser. So you're looking for Kotomi too, then? Oh ho! Didn't realize you'd already pinpointed her. Credit where credit's due, that's pretty impressive. You'll be even more impressed when we find her first. I promise you that. Big talk for a little girl. But you ain't gonna get a leg up on us freedom fighters, no matter how you try. Hey, where the hell's Mizuki? Asahi? Hey, that's right. You do know my second in command, don't you? Just tell me, where is Mizuki right now? <laughs> I guess there's no hurt in telling you, but you gotta tell me something first. If you meet up with Mizuki, what are you two gonna talk about? Well, I. Uh... Stupid question, I guess. Should have known. Well, so be it. If you wanna talk to Mizuki, you'll find him on Junk Street. Got it. Hey, Tachibana. You good? Sorry, guys, but I have to go. Hey, wait! Guess I'll be hitting the trail myself. Got more ground to cover, after all. Just a moment, please. What's up? You looking to throw in the towel? Why did you tell Asahi where he could find Mizuki? There's some kind of misunderstanding between them. And let's just say it wasn't for Asahi's sake that I told him. Mizuki, Asahi? What do you want? Do you need me for something? No, I don't need you for something. I want to know why you joined up with a shady group like the Freedom Fighters. Shady, huh? I don't think it's any of your business whom I spend my time with. Or would you rather have me tell you every private detail of my life before I do anything? No, that's not it at all! Is that all, then? Are we done here? Uh... Certainly didn't take you long to make new friends. Sounds like they're waiting on you. Big surprise. I don't care if they're waiting. I'm talking to you right now. I have nothing to talk about. Well, I do! Lots! And I have nothing to say. Got it? Come on, Mizuki. We were never going to be able to keep up with each other the way we were. And you know it. So consider this my goodbye. And good luck. Come on! We didn't even get to talk about anything. Why? New friends, huh? Yeah? Hello? Hey, Asahi. Sorry. I know you're busy. Not anymore. What do you need? Well, um, we just figured out where to find Cannon. You mean it? We found a witness at Akihabara Station. But like last time, they said he disappeared into thin air. So in other words... Yeah, he's got to be hiding out inside the audio delusion. Saki and Yamato have already gone in to investigate. Just thought I'd let you know. Wow. Okay. Sorry about all this. I'm headed your way now. Don't go anywhere! I hope those two don't do anything stupid till I get there. Does it even really matter why I joined the Freedom Fighters? I can't go back now. Asahi, you made it! Sorry to keep you waiting. You said Saki and Yamato were... 
Yep, they're already inside. Gotcha. Come on, we better head in and lend them a hand. Um, but are you okay to fight? I mean, what about your friend? It's fine. I'm fine. Right now, we just need to focus on catching up with Saki and Yamato. Okay. Hey! Saki! Yamato! Huh? Oh, looks like all that caterwauling's just Tachibana. Didn't expect him and Bunny Girl to catch up so quickly. What brings you here, Asahi? Is everything okay? Well, no, it's just... I heard you guys were in here, so I... Sorry. I thought I'd tell him. Oh, I see what's going on here. I can see when I'm not wanted. It's not... Look, there's no need to worry about me. I'm fine. I wasn't able to find him. I'm sure our paths will cross sometime, though. I mean, he is the Freedom Fighter's second in command, after all. But for now, we've got bigger fish to fry. Cannon could be in here somewhere, right? We gotta go find him. We certainly do. Let's get to it. looks to be one tough customer, what shall we do? Two customers, perhaps they'd like a booth? I'll blow you away! Do I get it? Huh? Well, you're fighting for me! Get out of here! Asahi, well done! This looks to be one tough customer, what shall we do? Shall we proceed through? As your guide, I'll gladly take point. Hold on. Look over there. It's... Cannon. There's nowhere left to run, so don't even try. Yamato? I don't think that's Cannon. Is that... Huh? Akari? Damn it! I can't believe you made me think that was canon. What are you doing in a place like this? This delusion's already been cleansed. Yeah, we know. We cleansed it. But that's not why we're here. You haven't seen canon anywhere, have you? Huh? Wait, Asahin, are you telling me that you and your friends are also looking for him? Unfortunately, this place is a dead end. Nobody here but little old me. Oh man, really? I can't think of anywhere else he'd be hiding, though. Bless. Yeah, that's gotta be it. Hmm? Yamato, you figure something out? I sure did. Akari Hozuki, you are canon! What? Have I been canon this whole time? I never even suspected me! Wow, this is a real shocker. Still, what a great day this is for Super Freedom Fighter Akari! Uh, do you think we should jump in here? Sometimes it's best not to say anything at all. Come on, Cannon! Show us your true form! <laughs> now that I've been discovered, I suppose I have no choice! No matter how nefariously you disguise yourself, you'll never be able to trick these all-seeing eyes. Evil Chortle! Perceptive, young Yamato. Very perceptive. I'm afraid you're correct. But I've no need to disguise myself any longer. For I, Hyper Freedom Fighter Akari, am indeed canon. Ha! I knew it from the moment I met you. Hey, you two want to knock it off? Yes. Yes, I think they do. Ow! What the hell, Tachibana? <laughs> A falling out among allies, all within sight of an arch enemy. It's almost too painful to watch! You too, Akari. Owie! It's so nice that we can all hang out and have fun together like this. Akari, is it really true that you haven't seen Cannon here? <laughs> yep, truer than true. If I'd seen him and didn't capture him, Boss would have gotten real mad at me. But someone saw Cannon disappear nearby. 
could he have gotten out of here before we even showed up? Or maybe he was never here in the first place. Wait, you're telling me she isn't? Ow! You've lost your speaking privileges. Doesn't seem like you're going to find anything else in here. Let's exit back out and regroup. Oh, I'll come with you. I'm hungry as a horse who could eat a horse. Fine by me. Back to Akiba together. Yay! Uh, Asahi, she's part of the Freedom Fighters, remember? Yeah, and? And you have no idea what she's up to. I mean, yeah, but come on, this is Akari we're talking about. I think she'll be fine, don't you? I think I'll be fine too. See? Even she's willing to let bygones be bygones, at least for a little while. Yeah! Say bye and consider them gone. Really, Sahi? Really? I mean, she's going to follow us out either way, right? Bingo, bingo, bingo! Give this man a cookie! I don't think she's gonna be a problem either, to be honest. Ryu, don't take his side! Yay! I get to leave the delusion with an entourage! Hooray! If you say so. I'm back! She really did follow us all the way back out, huh? <sighs> Fine, whatever. Hey, Akari, are you and your fellow Freedom Fighters also trying to find Cannon right now? Yes, indeedy! Can you tell us anything about him? No way! Even if our clues are really tiny, Boss would get really mad if I told you a single one. I don't even want to think about what he'd do if I told you he was blonde and fair-skinned. It's even a secret that he's really short and shrimpy. Short? Blonde and fair skinned. Thank you, Akari. That should be quite helpful. What? what, what? How do you know all that? Thanks, Akari. What? Oh no. Did I just spill the beans? Ooh, boss isn't gonna like this. Hey, why is it that the only piece of inconsistent info we've got is Cannon's height? Yeah, some people said he's tall, other people said he's short. It's kind of weird. I wonder if it's because of the silk hat. If you include it in his height, then he's tall. Otherwise, he's short. He really is like one of those urban legends where you hear different things in different neighborhoods. Guess that's how rumors usually work. Only so many of them have any real meat on their bones. Ooh, email from Boss. Woohoo! We're gonna have Odin at today's party. Oh, score. Well, just be careful on your way back, okay? You bet. And I'll be sure to tell Boss how much fun I had with you guys. Bye bye You two get along far too well. Don't forget, she's a freedom fighter. Yeah, I know. It's just, having her around's kind of fun in a weird way. It's like I'm babysitting or something. Okay, yes, I can see that. And I suppose we did manage to glean some new information from her. So, I'd say today was more win than loss. You seem to be ignoring the fact that our big lead on Cannon just fizzled. What do we do now? We haven't made much progress in finding Katomi, either. Both our mysteries we'll need to explore further, but we're not gonna make any headway tonight. Let's call it a day. I like the sound of that. Good night, everyone! Honey Stain, I'm home! Huh? Who's calling me? Oh, hi, Yamato. What's up? Well, it's just... There's something I keep forgetting to say to you. Hmm? I'm kind of okay that my delusion's been nullified. I'm actually... sort of grateful that you helped me get rid of my dark history. So, thanks. Hey, wait, you're not... Man, he actually hung up on me. Is he worried about the whole Mizuki thing? <laughs> Yeesh, I can't believe I've got a kid like him worried about an old coot like me. That's pretty lame. Why, Mizuki? At least tell me why. We always used to do everything together, but now I just wanted to keep you out of this whole mess. Hey, what you doing? Huh? You. Yeah, you. Me? That's what I said. You by yourself? Yeah. 
Then let's play together. Huh? Being by yourself is boring. Who are you? Asahi Tachibana. Asahi, like the morning sun, shining down on all the flowers standing tall. Tachibana. I'm Mizuki Aihara. Mizuki, huh? Well, you're gonna be my friend from now on. Huh? Why? It's in our names. Mine's got sun in it, and yours... Well, Mizuki has the moon, right? <laughs> Asahi, good morning. Mm, good morning. Someone, quick, take a picture. Asahi Tachibana's on time for once. Yeah, yeah. Why the long face? Are you okay? I dreamt about my past last night. Still no sign of a delusionscape entrance near Radiola Kaikon. Thanks for looking into it anyway. But where are we supposed to look for Katomi and Cannon now? Why don't we check out some of the other delusions? You could be hiding out in one of them. Already tried it. No sign of Katomi or Cannon in any of them. Well, that sucks. I'm officially out of ideas. Which leaves us with only one option. Legwork, legwork, legwork. Those clues won't find themselves. But maybe someone will find them for us. Why don't we check back in with you-know-who? Who? You know, that violent Eden information seller. She's gotta have some new dirt for us by now, right? Oh, you mean Akemi. Is Akemi's place even open this early? Besides, she hasn't sent us any emails. Couldn't hurt to swing by, at least. Never know where a lead might turn up. Yamato, are... are you getting into this investigation? No, of course not. This is my usual level of unenthused disinterest. Oh, I see what's going on here. Shady bars, information dealers. You like all these back alley shenanigans, don't you? I like you shutting up. He does have a point, though. There's no harm in stopping by for a visit, and Akemi is a very accommodating host. Why, hello! I'm afraid we're still setting up for the day, so you'll have to wait before I can take care of you. And, well, if it isn't Asahi and his delightful companions. Hey, Akemi. Have you come to ask me about Ken? Are you curious about Katomi today? You know about Katomi? <laughs> Young lady, just who do you think I am? I know all about the delusion around Radio Lakaikon and of Katomi's disappearance. So, you're looking for her? You hit that nail on the head. She has to be the one responsible for the doll delusion, right? Oh, Yamato. I could lose myself in those cool, focused eyes of yours. You've single-handedly won me over. I'll tell you everything I know. Kotomi is heir to a very distinguished family that's been around in Akihabara for a very, very long time. I do believe you've met her maid, Yoshino. Have you not? Yeah, I have. Both of Kotomi's parents are overseas, so she and Yoshino have been living alone together for as long as she knows. My sources say they've been together now for at least ten years. You're telling me both her parents have been gone ever since she was a little girl? It seems her parents thought that they could focus on their work and leave Yoshino to worry about their little one. And perhaps because of that upbringing, Kotomi has closed her heart off to everyone in the world but Yoshino. After all, it's hard to make friends without going to school. Even harder to come out of a shell you were raised in. It's as if she lived in her own little world, separate from our own since she was but a child, which in turn places her closer to the realm of delusion than any other person on Earth. So Cannon took advantage of that and is pushing her deeper and deeper in? If Cannon exists, that's almost certainly what he's done. So there's no question that this delusion is Katomi's then. Tell me, Saki, knowing all this, do you still intend to destroy her delusion? What? Or perhaps delusions aren't always a bad thing after all. But if 
we don't do something about it, we'll be stuck in this Sunday forever. We have to nullify the delusions in order to keep the world safe. Keep the world safe, huh? I'm just as stuck in this loop as you are, and it's certainly annoying. But I want you to remember one thing. Unwavering confidence in one's assertions can often leave one blind to the harmful effects of her actions. What? You'll understand. When the time is right, you'll understand. I'm back. Welcome back, Kanata. Whoa, how come there are this many people in here this early? Oh, sorry. Hi. It's nice to meet you. Oh, I simply must have told you all about these people already, haven't I? But they're Asahi and his friends. Uh, oh, hello. I'm Kanata Sotome. Hello. Kanata's a part-timer here. Isn't she a cutie? Totally. And so slender. She boasts quite the delusion, too. Even puts the complexity of God's double helix DNA to shame, if you ask me. Hold on. She's aware of her own delusion? Oh, it's nothing to worry about, and certainly not harming anyone. She's my prized maid. <laughs> Consult her as you will. Kanata, thank you ever so much for the shopping run. Was it heavy? Oh, no. It was fine. Well, how are things out there? Anything strange to report? Well, um, I almost ran into someone strange. Uh, you're an Akiba, darling. That's anything but unusual. He wasn't one of the regulars, though. He had a starched white collar and a very prominent pompadour. Boss? And... Even though he was headed right for me, he just kept yelling, It's time. I'm a bust on in and capture cannon. After nearly knocking me off my feet, he made a beeline for Akihabara Station. What happened next is anyone's guess. Maybe there's a new entrance. If there is, we'd better hurry to Radio Lakaikon before the Freedom Fighters get the jump on us. Uh... What's the holdup for you? Why couldn't we just let the Freedom Fighters take care of things this time? Come again? While we're busy pursuing this lead, more delusions could start encroaching. And, I mean, what's so wrong about just joining forces with Boss and Akari? Is that really not an option? Not on your life! That's what I thought. We have to be the ones to nullify the delusions. We can't depend on the Freedom Fighters to do it for us! Saki, you mustn't get so worked up. Girls need to be able to stay cool under pressure. Save that burning heart of yours for when you fall in love. L love <laughs> I take it back. You look very cute when you're flustered. Girls should always aspire to be something special, don't you think? Special how? Oh, but would you look at the time? I need to get the shop prepared for its umpteenth sun debut. You should go and contemplate what it is you wish to do from here on out. Ah, oh, to be young and have time to contemplate again. Truly a blessing.